This is a two-stage forklift mast off an old Nissan forklift. Already had, it was off a farmer, already had three-point linkage welded onto it. He spent a good bit of money getting someone to do that. They didn't make a great job at the bottom anyway. There's plenty of heavy plate there and gussets, but it just wasn't welded enough to this bit of box. And he gave it to a neighbour and it came back broken and he never did anything with it so i said something simple something like that would be easy enough fix everything's there for me it's a bit of box and the tabs and the holes in it everything just needs to be cleaned up welded again so the camera cut out on me before but i was just explaining uh this forklift mass here so i bought it off a farmer it already had the three point linkage welded onto it once probably wasn't a great job and he gave it to a neighbour and the neighbour broke it so he uh, gave it to me for a fair price I only paid 4 50 for it and I got the palatines they have working clips slides all along um, has the wheels on it two stage rams rams are both good heavy heavy steel unit um, and it goes up to about 15 foot palatines and all there so they'd be 200 by themselves if you wanted to buy a frame like this for the front loader it'd be four or five hundred the way things are gone so you know if it's already done up i could do a bit cheaper making it myself but you know the cost of that is what i got for the whole thing so definitely um a solid purchase in my opinion and it'll be very very useful on the farm here stacking bales lifting whatnot um so it'll work on either tractor i'm thinking because it just takes one hydraulic pipe and it's on wheels so the wheels are still on it we'll see how that goes we'll get to it Now, oh, so we're all set up with gas and the MIG welder and I have this cross piece prepped that I'll ground down fresh steel showing there and I have these very heavy 15mm uh, tabs and I just cut halfway through so I'll be able to weld that to that and then smack it down with the hammer or the sledgehammer and then weld it to this angled um, piece that, that was welded there before so
finally time to give it a go. By the way, it's about three o'clock in the morning. Not the right time to be starting a loud tractor like this, but the neighbors won't mind if it's only once or twice. But uh, can't wait till the morning anyway. So yeah, I'll tighten up this and we'll give it a go. Now you might have seen in recent videos I put it to use moving pallets around the yard it'll lift a half ton of fertilizer no bother and I actually use it for putting up the shed as well so for something that was just meant to um, temporarily replace a front loader it is coming very handy and now this probably isn't the best way to unveil it but I did buy a front loader and it is a bit of a project it's a John Deere loader 245 Again, got it for good money, but um, pretty much going to restore it all the way, grind it back down, spray it up, do what I have to, to the rams, it's going to get all new pipes, I have a brand new joystick and a joystick valve and all there, so it just needs pipes really. So that's a project you can look forward to, and hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it is going to take a bit of work. <laughs> 